discover possibilities. Good day. Our topic for today is about software testing lifecycle. And here are the learning objectives. Number one, find out what is software testing lifecycle. Number two, determine what are the phases of STLC. And Number three, to understand what are the different phases of STLC. Okay, for the STLC introduction, STLC stands for software testing life cycle stlc is a sequence of different activities performed by the testing team to ensure the quality of the software or the product For the STLC details, STLC is an integral part of software development life cycle for SDLC, but STLC deals only with the testing phases. STLC starts as soon as requirements are defined for SRD our software requirement document is shared by stakeholders and STLC provides a step-by-step -step process to ensure quality software you know in the early stage of STLC while the software or the product is developing the tester can analyze and define the scope of testing, entry, and exit criteria, and also the test cases. This helps to produce the test cycle time along with better quality. Now, as soon as the development phase is over, the testers are ready with test cases and start with execution this helps to find bugs in the initial phase stlc phases stlc has different phases and they are dependent on the nature of the software or the product time and resources allocated for the testing and the model of this is similar to what we have in the video and the first piece of the video is the requirement analysis going to the test planning followed by the test cases designing and next is the test environment setup and likewise the test execution and test closure but for the defect reporting, that is a sub phase of the test execution. Okay.
phases and their activities. Now, in the first phase of STLC, these are the points to understand in the requirement analysis. First, the entry criteria of this phase are the provision of SRS or software requirement specification. It is also recommended that the application architecture is handy. In this space, the quality assurance QA team analyzes at a higher level what to test and how to test. The quality assurance team follows up with various stakeholders like business analyst, system architecture, client, test manager, or lead in case any query or clarification is required to understand the requirement. And requirements may be functional or non-functional like performance, security, usability, and others, or both functional and non-functional. The exit criteria of this space is to complete the RTM document, automation, feasibility report, and a list of questions if applicable to be more specific on the requirements. RA phase and its activities. For the requirement analysis, the following are its activities. Number one, defining the scope. The quality assurance team identifies the scope of testing at high levels and divides into various functional modules. The team also identifies the types of testing required to perform like smoke testing, sanity testing, functional testing, regression testing, and others. Another activity is prepare the requirement testing matrix or RTM. The RTM captures all the requirements at the requirement analysis along with their traceability in a single document. All of this is delivered at the conclusion of the life cycle. Another RA phase activity is automation analysis. In the requirement phase, the quality assurance team analyzes the scope of automation or regression testing. If automation is added in scope, the team decides which tool can be used what functionalities will be covered as automation, the time frame and the resource allocation involved for automation development. Once this analysis is completed, 
the quality assurance team provides the automation feasibility report to different stakeholders to provide sign-off. 